Gaming is a popular entertainment product played by billions of people around the world. The gaming industry likes to promote gaming as great for education, great for social connection, and a way to relax and decompress. On the other hand, some individuals, including myself, have been harmed by games and have struggled to maintain control and moderation. The key here isn't about whether games are good or bad, the key is ultimately about understanding your own relationship with games and how or if you want them to be in your life. One technique we can use to do this is a traditional pros and cons list. We can look at the advantages of games and the disadvantages, especially as they relate to our own personal experience, so we can better understand and gain more clarity on whether or not we want games to be in our life, and if so, in what sort of way. So in this video, we're gonna go through different pros, different cons, and I'll help you be able to make a decision for yourself. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. This is really just about better understanding your own situation, your own relationship to games, and making sure you bring it into balance in a way that's serving your life. For example, by understanding some of the cons of gaming or the disadvantages, this might help you identify more about what your barriers are, what your fears are about moving forward without games or about reducing your play. In the same way, understanding the pros of gaming, the way that games are uh, providing you with benefits can also provide you with insight into things that you may end up missing as you reduce your play. So this can help you make sure you're filling the void in a powerful way. So before we start, you want to bring a notepad or a piece of paper, a pen, or open a text editor and follow along with the different questions. You can also use the link in the description below to use the type form that I've created for you guys to go through the questions and answer yes or no and check the different boxes and see for yourself what your relationship is like with games. All right, so let's start with the pros of gaming. I don't have to deal with my problems. I feel more confident. I have something to do when I'm bored. I fit in with my friends. I have more fun. Games help me calm down and relax. I am able to achieve my goals within a game. I am able to experience new worlds and experiences. I feel a part of a community. I feel a sense of identity. I feel like I am someone in the virtual world. I feel like I matter. All right, so those are some pros of gaming. Now let's look at some cons. My problems keep piling up. I feel guilty or ashamed when I play. I don't like the way I feel after gaming for a long time. It causes problems with my friends or my family. I procrastinate and don't get my work or school done. I experience financial issues and overspending. I feel anxious and depressed when I'm not gaming. Gaming's harming my physical or mental health. I don't like the person I am when I play. I don't have any motivation to do anything other than play games. I keep saying I will stop, but I can't. So let's take a couple moments and reflect on which pros you identified with and also which cons. Again, this is about your own personal experience, so everyone will be a little bit different. Now, as you look at this list, it's important to weigh your options. Often for us, there will be some benefits and some risks. There will be some ways that games are helping our life and some ways that gaming is harming it. Ultimately, what you decide to do is up to you. You have to be the one to make the choice. If gaming is providing benefits for your life and not very many harms, then playing in moderation and balance can be totally reasonable. But if gaming is harming your life and it's not really providing many benefits or the harms are significant enough that they need to be addressed, then it's time to do something about it. That doesn't mean you necessarily need to quit forever. You might not even need to quit entirely. It might simply be that watching this video is now an opportunity to start focusing on how do you actually get gaming back under control? How do you bring it back into balance? Now at GameQuitters.com we have a ton of different resources for you guys, lots of free resources, and we have paid programs as well to walk you through step-by-step step how to get gaming back under control. So as you reflect on your list, you wanna look at what stood out to you, what maybe surprised you, what do you need to look at further? 
So if you're someone who wants to get gaming back under control, whether that's reducing your play back into moderation or quitting altogether, then you can go to gamecores.com slash apply and you can apply for a personal coaching call with me. On that call, we'll talk about your situation, what the barriers are, and ultimately what your goals really are that you want to achieve. And I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step method that I've used to not only stop gaming, but also to start living the life that I want. One where I'm motivated, inspired, and productive. One where I wake up every single day excited for the day, instead of just living my life through the motions, playing video games, and checking out. So if that's you, if you're someone who wants to get gaming back under control, then go to gamequitters.com slash apply, and let's talk about whether or not the Game Quitters method is right for you. As always, this isn't about being anti-games, it's simply about making sure that your life and your potential is the focus. If gaming is a complement to your life, if it's a hobby, if it's something that isn't really causing problems, then that's all good. But if it is, let's get it handled, let's do it together, and let's get you back on the right track. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful. You can check many more links in the description below. We have articles on the pros and cons of gaming, on the positive effects, on the negative effects, and our coaching programs as well. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment below, share your experience, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.